According to the American Kidney Fund, 9 out of 10 people with kidney disease are unaware they have it, and half of those with severely reduced kidney function but not yet on dialysis do not know they have kidney disease. Reversing damage on your kidneys and keeping them healthy is important. In this video, we are going to discuss 12 foods that are hurting your kidneys. Number 8 shocked us, so watch the video until the end for some enlightening information. Number one, processed meats. Processed meats such as bacon, sausage, deli meats, and canned meats are typically high in sodium. Excessive sodium intake can increase blood pressure and strain the kidneys, leading to kidney damage over time. Processed meats often contain additives like nitrates and nitrites, which are used as preservatives and to enhance color and flavor. These compounds can be converted into harmful substances called nitrosamines, which may damage kidney cells and increase the risk of kidney disease. Many processed meats contain high levels of phosphorus, a mineral that healthy kidneys can regulate. However, for individuals with kidney disease, the kidneys may struggle to remove excess phosphorus from the bloodstream, leading to mineral imbalances and potentially causing further kidney damage. Number two, sugary drinks. Regular consumption of drinks high in sugar has been linked to an increased risk of type 2 diabetes. Diabetes is a leading cause of kidney disease as high blood sugar levels can damage the kidney's filtering units, nephrons, over time, leading to kidney dysfunction and eventually kidney failure. Soft drinks and other drinks high in sugar have been linked to elevated blood pressure levels. Blood pressure levels that are high is a major risk factor for kidney disease as it can damage the blood vessels in the kidneys and impair their ability to filter waste products from the blood effectively. Number three, high sodium foods. Sodium plays a role in regulating blood pressure, but excessive sodium intake can lead to hypertension, high blood pressure. High blood pressure puts strain on the blood vessels in the kidneys, reducing their ability to effectively filter waste products from the blood. Over time, this can contribute to kidney damage and increase the risk of chronic kidney disease. High sodium diets can increase the risk of kidney stones, particularly those containing sodium, calcium, and oxalate. Excessive sodium intake can lead to increased urinary calcium excretion, which may contribute to the formation of calcium-based kidney stones. Additionally, sodium can increase urine acidity, promoting the formation of uric acid stones. Proteinuria, the presence of excess protein in the urine, is a sign of kidney damage or dysfunction. High sodium diets have been associated with increased proteinuria, which can further strain the kidneys and contribute to kidney damage over time. Number four, high phosphorus foods. High phosphorus levels have been associated with the progression of kidney disease. Phosphorus accumulation in the bloodstream can lead to kidney damage and inflammation, worsening kidney function over time. Additionally, phosphorus may contribute to kidney fibrosis, a process where scar tissue forms in the kidneys, further impairing their function. High phosphorus levels in the blood can disrupt the balance of calcium and phosphorus in the body. Excessive phosphorus can bind with calcium, forming calcium phosphorus complexes that can deposit in soft tissues, including blood vessels and organs like the kidneys. These deposits, known as vascular calcifications, can contribute to cardiovascular disease and worsen kidney function over time. Number five, fast food. Many fast food items are rich in phosphorus and potassium, which can be problematic with individuals with kidney disease. Excessive phosphorus and potassium can accumulate in the bloodstream in people with compromised kidney function, leading to mineral imbalances, cardiovascular complications, and worsening kidney function. Fast food often contains processed ingredients, preservatives, and additives which may have negative effects on kidney health. For example, certain food additives and flavor enhancers may contain phosphorus additives, artificial sweeteners, and other compounds that can be harmful to individuals with kidney disease. Number six, caffeine. Caffeine is not inherently bad for your kidneys when consumed in moderation. In fact, for most people, moderate caffeine intake is generally considered safe and may even have some positive health benefits, such as improved alertness and cognitive function. However, excessive caffeine consumption or certain circumstances can potentially have negative effects on kidney health.
Research suggests that caffeine may interfere with the absorption of calcium in the body. Over time, reduced calcium absorption could potentially contribute to the development of kidney stones, which are mineral deposits that form in the kidneys and urinary tract. Number seven, alcohol. Excessive alcohol consumption can disrupt the balance of electrolytes in the body, including sodium, potassium, and magnesium. Electrolyte imbalances can affect kidney function and lead to complications such as muscle weakness, irregular heart rhythms, and changes in blood pressure. Chronic heavy drinking can contribute to hypertension, high blood pressure, which is a leading cause of kidney disease. High blood pressure puts strain on the blood vessels in the kidneys, reducing their ability to effectively filter waste products from the blood. Prolonged alcohol abuse can directly damage the kidneys and impair their function. Alcohol-related kidney damage may manifest as acute kidney injury, sudden loss of kidney function, chronic kidney disease, gradual loss of kidney function over time, or alcoholic kidney disease, a specific type of kidney damage caused by chronic alcohol abuse. Alcohol consumption can lead to increased urinary excretion of substances such as calcium, oxalate, and uric acid, which are components of kidney stones. Excessive alcohol consumption can raise the risk of developing kidney stones, particularly in individuals prone to stone formation. Number eight, artificial sweeteners. Artificial sweeteners such as aspartame, saccharin, sucralose, and acid sulfate and potassium are commonly used as sugar substitutes in various foods and beverages. While artificial sweeteners are generally considered safe when consumed in moderation, there are concerns about their potential impact on kidney health. Some studies have suggested that consumption of certain artificial sweeteners particularly those containing saccharin or cyclamate may increase urinary excretion of calcium. Excessive urinary calcium excretion can contribute to the formation of kidney stones, particularly calcium-based stones, and increase the risk of kidney stone formation. Emerging research suggests that artificial sweeteners may affect the composition and function of the gut microbiota, the community of microorganisms that inhabit the digestive tract. Disruption of the gut microbiota has been linked to various health issues, including metabolic disorders and kidney disease. Number nine, high potassium foods. High potassium foods can be problematic for individuals with kidney disease or impaired kidney function because the kidneys may have difficulty filtering and excreting excessive potassium from the bloodstream. Here's why high potassium foods can be detrimental to kidney health. Consuming high potassium foods can lead to hyperkalemia, a condition characterized by elevated levels of potassium in the blood. Individuals with normal kidney function, the kidneys effectively regulate potassium levels by excreting excessive potassium in the urine. However, in people with kidney disease, the kidneys may not be able to excrete potassium effectively, leading to potassium buildup in the bloodstream. Hyperkalemia can disrupt the normal electrical activity of the heart, potentially leading to cardiac erythromyosis, irregular heartbeats, or even cardiac arrest in severe cases. Potassium is essential for maintaining proper heart function, but excessive levels can be dangerous, especially for individuals with comprised kidney function. Number 10, high protein foods. When you consume protein, your body breaks it down into waste products, including nitrogenous waste such as urea. The kidneys are responsible for filtering these waste products from the bloodstream and excreting them in the urine. High protein diets can increase the workload on the kidneys by raising the glomerular filtration rate, GFR, which is the rate at which the kidneys filter blood. Over time, this increased workload may contribute to kidney stress and potential damage. High protein intake may lead to glomerular hypertrophy, enlargement of the filtering units in the kidneys, glomerular hyperfiltration, increased blood flow through the glomerular eye, and renal hyperfusion, increased blood flow to the kidneys. These changes can put additional strain on the kidneys and may contribute to kidney damage over time. High protein diets can increase the production of uric acid and other waste products, which must be excreted by the kidneys. Excessive uric acid levels can lead to the formation of uric acid kidney stones and contribute to the development of gout, a form of arthritis caused by the buildup of uric acid crystals in the joints. Number 11, dairy products. 
Dairy products are not inherently bad for kidney health, and in fact, they can provide essential nutrients such as calcium, protein, vitamin D, and potassium that are important for overall health. However, for individuals with kidney disease or impaired kidney functions, certain components of dairy products may need to be limited or monitored due to their potential impact on kidney health. Here are some reasons why dairy products may pose challenges for individuals with kidney disease. Dairy products, especially cheese and milk, are rich sources of phosphorus. While phosphorus is an essential mineral involved in bone health, as the kidneys may have difficulty excreting it. Elevated blood phosphorus levels, hyperphosphotemia, can contribute to mineral imbalances, bone disorders, and cardiovascular complications in people with kidney disease. Some dairy products such as yogurt and milk contain significant amounts of potassium. In individuals with impaired kidney function, high potassium levels, hyperkalemia, can occur if the kidneys are unable to excrete potassium effectively. Hyperkalemia can lead to muscle weakness, irregular heart rhythms, and other complications. Number 12, certain vegetables. Some vegetables are rich in potassium. Potassium is a mineral that is important for nerve and muscle function, but excessive potassium intake can be harmful for individuals with kidney disease, especially those with advanced kidney failure. High potassium levels, hyperkalemia, can lead to muscle weakness, irregular heart rhythms, and other complications. Vegetables that are particularly high in potassium include potatoes, sweet potatoes, tomatoes, spinach, and avocados. Certain vegetables are also high in phosphorus. Phosphorus is another mineral that can accumulate in the bloodstream in individuals with kidney disease. Elevated blood phosphorus levels, hyperphosphatemia, can contribute to mineral imbalances, bone disorders, and cardiovascular complications. Vegetables that are high in phosphorus include spinach, beans, lentils, and whole grains. Some vegetables contain high levels of oxalates, compounds that can contribute to the formation of kidney stones, particularly calcium oxalate stones. Individuals with a history of kidney stones may need to limit their intake of high oxalate vegetables, such as spinach, beets, Swiss chard, and rhubarb to reduce the risk of kidney stone formation. If you found this video educational, please click the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. We will see you in the next video.